I'm Amit Jala, Nebraska Extension Weed Management Specialist, and this is for end field observations. Today, I'm going to discuss a project where we are evaluating sequential residual herbicide programs in corn that can provide season long weed control, and we don't have to use any foliar active herbicide in this uh, project. The idea of this project is we already have glyphosate resistant palmer amaranth and water hemp and also some other weeds um, and in future we might have some weeds uh, that will be resistant to dicombine some glucosinate based herbicides that we have been using. So the idea of this project is how best we can utilize pre-emergence herbicides which are applied at planting and fortunately we have some residual herbicides which you can apply post-emergence they generally do not have foliar activity but if you apply that before the weed will emerge then it can provide some residual overlapping residual weed control for example in this um, project uh, we have applied Resicor which is a good herbicide with three different uh, mode of action was applied pre-emergence uh, on the same day of planting corn and then in early post-emergence uh, before weeds started emerging we have applied uh, Anthem Max, uh, which is a, a good herbicide with two different mode of action. And then at late post emergence, uh, we have provided uh, uh, applied uh, Warrant, which is an acetochlor based uh, herbicide. And so you can see this, this residual herbicide program has provided really great weed control. There is hard to see any weed which is emerging and now corn has closed the canopy. Um, so now there are not chances that any more weeds will emerge uh, so you can consider and this is just one herbicide program as I told you there are a number of uh, uh, residual herbicides that you can apply post emergence but you need to make sure that you apply before weed will start emerging.